afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on CindyLandCenter.org on our website. Today is Friday, the 2nd of September. It's uh, 76 here in the square at noon time. And we're looking for uh, pretty nice weather uh, unless you want to have rain. So Friday is uh, sunny and 80, uh, Saturday will be partly cloudy, 81 the high, sunny Sunday and 87 the high, and then uh, sunny and windy on both Monday and Tuesday with 90 the high on Monday, 89 the high on Tuesday, and then 88 and partly cloudy on Wednesday. <coughs> Well, we don't have any birthdays uh, to tell about for this weekend, uh, but it is Labor Day weekend, and so we'll just tell you about us and the banks, because the county offices in most places, I'm sure, will be closed on Labor Day. So Shepherd Center will be closed on Monday for Labor Day, and we won't be doing the news on Monday uh, because of Labor Day. And the banks have both the same schedule. Both banks, the American State and the St. John National Bank, are uh, closed all day Saturday and all day Monday. But they are both open Friday with their regular hours. So if you need to do banking, just remember to do it Friday because if you wait till Saturday, you're going to wait then until Tuesday. Well, we have a whole set of new announcements for trips by the uh, Recreation Commission. And so on uh, Thursday the 8th, the Lunch Bunch is going to the Family Food Store in Sawyer, Kansas. And it's a unique kind of a store. It has a deli, a bakery, bulk foods, grocery, homemade foods, and family atmosphere. So they're going to leave here at 10.15 from the Recreation Commission, lunch at the family food store on arrival, and shopping time allowed in the store afterward, and they're coming back after the lunch. And the cost is $7 for trips. And they have a new requirement now that they need to have seven uh, people for the trip in order to be able to go. Then uh, the next thing that will happen is on the 12th, Monday the 12th of uh, September, and it's going to be a carry-in uh, supper at the uh, Wit Center at the Sunflowers, and uh, they're having uh, their uh, carry-in supper dish at 6 o'clock in the evening. And then they're also telling us that they do friendship meals every single uh, day uh, and of the week. And then they also do the commodities uh, at uh, once a month, I think it is, maybe twice, once every other month. So anyway, the Sunflower Carrion Dinner, they've gone now to having it the second Monday of the week rather than the first Monday, which of course is a holiday. Then on Saturday the 17th, uh, they're going to the Arts and Crafts Fair in Hillsborough, Kansas. And it's the 46th Annual Arts and Crafts Fair in Hillsborough. They leave at 9, and uh, they're at the fair until 1 o'clock. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. They're at the fair from 9 until 1, and they leave here at 1.30 to get there. And they're at the Hillsborough Fairgrounds, and uh, they have to park at the fairgrounds, and then they're transported by a school bus uh, back and forth to the fair. So uh, then uh, later that afternoon, they're going to gather at the First Mennonite Church uh, to get bust and uh, back to the 
city bus, and then they're going to be home at uh, around 4 here at the Recreation Commission. And then uh, we have some more notices, but we'll do those because they're much later in September. Then, of course, we have our Senior Fellowship Meal Menus, which is a really extraordinary program. And uh, St. John and uh, Maxville are both cities that have this program. And it's a great thing for seniors, but also anybody, if they want to go, just for companionship and a chance to see people, uh, they can go to the Fellowship Meal, too. And it costs a little more if you go and you're not a senior that's registered there. But it's a, a nice dinner, and it's certainly not more than what it's worth. And for the seniors, it's really a good thing. Well, anyway, Friday, today, they're having at the Sunflower Center, baked turkey patty, and a cheesy pasta and tossed salad. Then on Monday, I... I think they'll be closed for the holiday. On Tuesday they're having baked fish, uh, macaroni and cheese, and a green salad. On uh, Wednesday they're having ground beef stroganoff, noodles, and carrots. And on Thursday they're having barbecued roulettes, hash browns, and tossed green salad. Now meanwhile, the sunflowers are having bare ox, and black bean, corn, and tomato salad uh, for today. On Monday, they're probably going to be closed. I hope that I'm not giving you the wrong word. Then on uh, Tuesday, they'll be having breaded cod and the sloppy joe. You have your choice. Two Wednesday will be chili and a baked potato. And uh, Thursday will be hunting and chicken and capri vegetables. And this is uh, the time for the word of the day. The word of the day is, no rule for success will work unless you do. Uh, and we want to tell you that uh, we've been uh, teasing each other here in the Shepherd Center saying, there isn't anything that happened this week, so we have a short news broadcast. Well, we wish you all a great weekend and a great holiday, and be really careful driving, because this is one of those times when people may celebrate too much, and you better watch out on the road, not only for you and the deer, but for other people who may be driving when they shouldn't. So have a great weekend, and we'll be back and visit with you on Wednesday again.